Number eight, a person walks in the following pattern. 3.1 kilometers north, then 2.4 kilometers west, and finally 5.2 kilometers south. Letter A, sketch the vector diagram that represents this motion. Letter B, how far, and letter C, in what direction would a bird fly in a straight line from the same starting point to the same final point? So let us draw our coordinate system over here. So let's say this is our x direction, which points to the east, and this is our y direction, which points to the north. So the person wa walks first to the north. So let's say this is our vector a over here. This is our vector a, and this point is 3.1 kilometers, and then walks 2.4 to the west, okay, so this is our vector B, which has magnitude of 2.4 kilometers, and finally, 5.2 to the south, so this is our vector C over here. So this is the answer of letter A, this is what we have to draw. Letter B, how far and in what direction would a bird fly straight from the starting point to the same final point. So we want to find this vector over here, let's call it vector D. So the first thing that you have to notice is that vector D is equal to vector A plus vector B plus vector C. So let's write vector A being C in unit vector notation. So we can see that vector A is equal to 3.1 in the i direction, the j direction, sorry, in the j direction, because it points to the north. Vector b is equal to minus 2.4 in the i direction, because it's this vector over here, and letter c is equal to uh, vector c is equal to minus uh, 5.2 in the j direction and everything is in kilometers so we can sum everything up and then we find that our vector d is equal to let's see minus 2.1 minus 2.4 in the i direction minus 2.1 in the j direction so this is our vector d so if we want to find how far the bird have to fly we have to get the magnitude of that vector so we want the magnitude of vector d vector d and the magnitude of vector d is the square root of each term squared. So minus 2.4 squared plus minus 2.1 squared. And this gives us roughly 3.2 kilometers. So this is the answer of letter B. For letter C, this angle over here, this angle over here is equal to the tangent to the minus 1 of the y component of vector d over the x component of vector d. And this is equal to the tangent to the minus 1 of minus 2.1 over minus 2.4. And this gives us two different answers. It gives us 41 degrees and 221 degrees degrees. So we have to decide which quadrant our vector is. So let's see. This happens because when you take the tangent of an angle, there are two different angles that gives us the same value of tangent. So this angle over here, which is 41 degrees, gives us the same tangent as this angle over here, which is 221 degrees. So we, can, we have to choose which one is the correct one and evidently is this angle over here. So the correct answer is 221 degrees.